this should be a dot war file because uh, your tomcat server expects a war file right so you simply jar it and you name it as dot war again not dot jar this is one thing you should make a note of and i'll again say include all the files in this directory in this war file okay okay so here is it so this has uh, built a dot war file for me this is nothing but a jar right and uh, i've included the servlet class and the web.xml configuration file to this war file okay. so the next thing i need to do is deploy okay. i need to deploy this war file into tomcat okay. so let's see how to do it okay. so before you can uh, before you deploy your application let me uh, start my server so simply go to the tomcat installation directory and uh, just type startup uh -oh. okay uh, i think it's a, okay go to the tomcat bin directory and type startup right so this is going to start your uh, web server okay. how do you check whether your server has been started or not open your browser and go to localhost 8080 so unless you have modified any default settings uh, the url uh, to get to your tomcat server is uh, localhost and port 8080 right so once you type in this url you will go to your tomcat's server home page okay so this takes me to this uh, tomcat server home page and uh, uh, if i am able to see this page i know that my server has been started now okay. so in at the top left here i've got this administrator section and uh, i click on the tomcat manager uh, hyperlink which i have in here so it asks for my tomcat username and password which i have created while installation okay so this takes me to the web app manager uh, page where i find the list of applications deployed in this server okay so i don't see my uh, application here and once i deploy uh, the war file my application should uh, come in here in the list of applications okay so how do you deploy your uh, application to the server Uh, there are a uh, few methods in which you can do it and uh, one of the methods is simply create a war file and deploy the war file here so that's what we did so my war file location i know my war file location so i'll simply add that location here and the name of my war file is hello world war hello world dot war okay and say deploy okay so once you uh, deploy it, it it's going to give you a message which says whether the de deploy was successful or not and here i got a message saying okay so that means that my application my web application has been deployed successfully to tomcat server so we are done with deploy as well and finally we need to execute our application to see if what we have done was correct and we are getting the desired output or not okay so here if you see i have uh, okay i can increase this okay so here if you see in the list of applications uh my application hello world is uh, right in here okay and the display name which i have given in my web.xml file text servlets and if you see that start is uh, i don't have a hyperlink on start which uh, implies that my application has been started okay it's already started i don't need to start it again right so how do you test the application what is the url you uh, have to prove given to test your application so you simply uh, click on this hello world hyperlink which i have in my hyperlink in my applications link 
so when I click this is going to take me to the home page of my application right so here I'm getting a HTTP status 404 error it says the resource was not found and why was it not found because uh, it didn't find a match it didn't find a corresponding match in the web.xml file okay so what's the only URL pattern we have given in our web.xml file a pattern which ends with hello so let me simply try and give that pattern okay I'll say slash hello so this pattern is ending with hello and it should match the URL mapping in my web.xml file and my hello world servlet should be called and uh, it should output the hello world text on the screen okay. oh okay one mistake I did uh, while doing the war file is uh, I didn't give the package structure for this hello world class so let me quickly do that my class is present in com shabalepu servlets class ok so let me just cut this and paste it here ok so I have my hello world application in which I have web dot web inf in which I have my web dot xml file and in classes I have this package structure com sharad balepu servlets hello world dot class so this perfect now okay. so I'll again go and uh, build my war file I'll say hello world dot war okay. okay so what I'll do now is first uh, all my applications uh, will be put in the web apps directory so we've deployed our uh, hello world war earlier so there is already a hello world war present here in the web apps and there is also a hello world directory present which contains all the information pertaining to my hello world application so I'll okay uh, I've deleted that now so again let me go to my tomcat okay. since I've deleted that now it doesn't come up in my applications list So now I simply add this again, deploy this. The name is hello world dot war. Okay, and I say deploy, it gives a message. Okay, so let me go ahead and test now. This is my hello world app. So this should give a page not found, but now I'll try to give hello here right so here is the output so now it has um, gone to web.xml found a match for this url and found the corresponding servlets which serves this request loaded that servlet and invoked the init method then service method which will in turn call the do get method where i put my logic business logic to print hello world on the screen and here it is okay so Okay, so if you have a look at my Tomcat screen, you will see uh, the uh, print statements which we have given in our class. So the first thing was it, di it did was uh, it printed in hello world constructor. So first my constructor was called, and then the init method was called, and then the service method was called, which and then the do get method was called from the service method. So 
this was this is exactly the same uh, flow which uh, we have discussed right and uh, we would be seeing more about this uh, in the later part of the later demo uh, session uh, which will include a little complex uh, uh, scenario right so that's it about the uh, hello world servlet application the first servlet application okay thank you